All right, what's up guys? Going to uh, change the oil in this thing today, talk about a few things. You can pick up the tag for this beast. <sighs> yep, we're finally getting a tag, guys. Let's see. I have my blue FRS for eight months or seven months, one. Never bought a tag for it. Um, I'm planning on keeping this car probably indefinitely, at least for now. And uh, I just know that I definitely need a tag. And then we're going to talk about the Lexus today and what we've decided to do with it. Um, I'm going to change the oil in this thing to some AMS oil. I'm going to go to a heavier weight 5W30 instead of the 0W20 that this thing recommends. Um, and yeah, so there's some stuff to do today. Um, it's my birthday, actually, May the 10th. It's my birthday, uh, 23. But uh, anyway, going to go to Tyler's house, get to the shop real quick, and then uh, change the oil on this thing, and we'll talk some more then. Okay. Got the uh, oil changed. Had to fish the drain plug out of there. There's no telling how many miles this uh, oil had on it, honestly, because the guy never told me when I bought it, and I've put like 4,000 something miles on it, but the oil still look good, so that's one thing. Uh, we gotta go to get a, get a new crush washer for this, and then we're gonna change the oil with some AMS oil and uh, this bastard here is going to take us to town and then I'm uh, going to go ahead and buy the tag for this thing too alright got a tag, some air fresheners washer set for the drain plug going to go ahead and put this plug back in change this oil, put this K&N filter on and then uh, call it a day on this ok got the 5W30 in it, let's hear if this bitch clacks like it used to <laughs> All these boxer motors have always been loud. Let's see what the hell happens. We never honestly thought we'd ever see the day that one of my cars had a tag on it. My last FRS didn't have a tag on it. Been driving this one for almost two months, no tag on it. <laughs> Finally got a tag, it's my birthday. I had to thank my mom for that one. She was gonna go in half with me on it, but she ended up paying the whole thing because she's an angel. So. All right, so let's talk about the Lexus. For anybody new to the channel, I have an IS300 with a 2JZ GTE in it. Um, we took the trans out of it and then moved it from my buddy's shop to my mom's house. And when we backed it off the trailer, uh, it caught the trailer and the downpipe got pushed through the oil pan, I think. It pushed it over into it. And um, next thing I know, the motor starts leaking oil, puking oil all over the uh, trailer and the ground. And... Um, yeah, so basically it's shooting oil everywhere. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Can't really see or tell the damage because the car is really low. And so here's what we're going to do next week. It is Saturday now. Uh, next Wednesday I'm off. We're going to go look at the car. i got to air the tire up, and we're going to try and move it under the carport, and we're going to attempt to take the motor out of the car and see um, what all is wrong with it and if it can be saved. If the motor can be saved, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to treat it like what I should be doing to it instead of how I was. I was treating it like a daily driver. It's not a daily driver. It's a long-term project. It's a project car. Um, so the car is going to need a standard transmission. That automatic got to go. If it's going to make any more power, the automatic is not going to be able to take it anyway. So we're going to put a CD009 in it. And we're going to also put a standalone in it. We are most likely going to do an ECU Master Black and a custom harness and whatnot for that setup as well. The car needs a standalone, Just it just does. Two JZs, especially once you put a big turbo on them, don't respond well to the stock ECU. Um, and then that way we'll be able to put bigger injectors on it and go for more power as well. Plus it'll just be way more streetable, better driving, because the tune will be better. Yeah. That is the plans for the IS300. As of now, we're going to keep it. Um, honestly, at the end of the day, I love the car too much. And I have the FRS, so I have a daily driver now. 
Uh, I don't much have to worry about driving it all the time, and that's what was stressful about the car was if something broke or if something tore up, if something came undone, you know, uh, I was shit out of luck because it was my only car. And I missed work a few times. Um, couldn't see my girlfriend a few times. There were times I couldn't get home because I didn't have another car to drive. And that shit sucks. And yeah, so now that I have the FRS and I've sat back away from the project for a little bit, it's given me a better, clear head about uh, thinking about it and everything. And ultimately, I love the car. And it just doesn't make sense to get rid of it because I'll never be able to sell it for what I have in it. So we're just going to send it, just fucking send it, and uh, go with it and see what happens. So uh, stay tuned for next week's update. And uh, we'll see what is actually wrong with the 2JZ and where to go from there. And then uh, see what we got to do to get the Lexus back going strong. So that's the uh, game plan right now. And I hope you guys like that because I can definitely tell the content views just aren't what they are. And uh, everybody wants to see the 2JZ. And, you know, you can't really blame them. So anyways, that's what we're going to do. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe for more videos if you're not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, other than that, guys, we're about to go eat and have some drinks for my birthday. So I hope you guys have a great day as I am. So appreciate it. Peace.